of the Rolf, Madame G, flaring star from the center of the gate, Jam Jar Legacy, as they move in front of us for the first time, and it's Jam Jar Legacy to take the early lead. Gleaming Sunrise, flaring star angles from the inside as they move to the turn. Madame G is down toward the rail, and Sligo Lily's early trailer. Seven furlongs to go now, and it's Jam Jar Legacy. That opening quarter was 24 and four-fifths of a second. To the outside, Gleaming Sunrise, just a long neck behind, Flaring Star improves to third. Madame G saved ground through that first turn, tucked in nicely behind horses, and Sligo Lily trails this field. They come to the 5 8 pole, Gleaming Sunrise now by a half a length. Jam Jar Legacy, Flaring Star, Madame G being Patiently handled in behind horses, 48 and 4 for that opening half mile, and they're four furlongs from the wire. Gleaming Sunrise. Gleaming Sunrise has that lead a length and a half. Jam Jar Legacy. Flaring Star is three lengths off the lead, and Gleaming Sunrise has quickened, widened to four lengths now. Flaring Star on the outside, and Rosa da Silva gets busy on Matt MG. Sent three wide and draws a bead on that leader. Take a look at Madame G. She's coming to Gleaming Sunrise with every stride. Gleaming Sunrise swallowed up by Madame G at the head of the stretch. And it's Madame G who's kicked away by three lengths. Gleaming Sunrise had no response. Flaring Star is third, and this one is history with 1 16th to go. Just a matter of how much Madame G will win by all by herself at the wire. Madame G won it by seven and a half. Flaring Star was second. Gleaming Sunrise third. Sligo Willie was fourth. I am Aunt and Jockey Eureka Rosa da Silva. The Bannon family and friends in memory of Abernathy.